What's up guys? Today we're talking front focus adapters for your night vision, specifically the two styles that we sell here at Op4 Night Solutions. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about why you'd want a front focus adapter. The big advantage that a front focus adapter offers to your night vision devices is it increases your depth of field or what's in focus for you. So typically with a night vision device, you either have far away or up close, but not both in focus at any one time. Front focus adapter gives you a much broader range of what's in focus in front of you. That's a big advantage for you. The trade-off there is it does sacrifice some of the incoming light, so your image does get a little bit darker. That means in areas where you're in high light, dynamic light, transitional light, dusk dawn, those are the optimal places to employ a front focus adapter because you have quite a bit of light coming in, so you can trade off some of that light for better focus, better situational awareness, all right? First device we're going to talk about is the Infinity Iris. It's this thing right here. So the Infinity Iris is a screw-in replacement for where you normally would have your just a sack lens. You now can screw in the Iris instead. This opens from 1 mil up to 23 mils at its most open. It is like it's not even there, so it has no negative effect on your use. However, at its most small, it can operate basically like a daylight cover. So in very high light conditions, it still gives you a great, clean, crisp image. And it's very easy to adjust on the fly. They also have a machined opening at 5.56, which is kind of your standard opening size. It's your all-purpose opening size. It has a very positive click. That means that you're never searching for it and hoping that you're getting it quite right or trying to get the light the same between your two tubes. You can just rotate it until you feel that click. Bang, away you go. No fuss, no muss. Some of the trade-offs for running a device like this. If you have dim tubes, this is going to cut the light coming into those tubes even further. They're going to make it a little bit darker. Works really well with high gain, super gain tubes, that sort of thing. But they will work on all other devices, especially in high light environments. The other thing is there is a little bit of weight. These are 20 grams each. Um, so they do add a little bit of weight to the front of your device. Furthermore, the polycarbonate on the front, while very strong, does mar easily. So after a few uses, you, especially if you've been wiping it, if you're operating in a wet environment or a wet environment that's sandy, <laughs> uh, you will find that that front lens that comes stock with these does scratch fairly easily. The good news is we do have an up kit coming, which will allow you to screw in your standard uh, PVS-14 sack lenses and lift filters into the front of these and use these um, compatible with those. For those of you who may be looking at these and going, that's a little bit too much spend for me, there is a lower tech solution to this. Uh, you can take your own bikini covers or uh, we do sell pre-drilled bikini covers that basically take a bikini cover, open up a six mil hole in it, which allows you to have the all-purpose depth of field that these offer in a very low cost, low profile, low weight bundle. Disadvantage of this is obviously, yes, I have it on. Yes, I can take it off, but going back and forth is not that fast and that seamless when compared to a machined option like an iris. They are, however, cheap and they are, however, lightweight. And for those of you who have bikini covers at home, you could do that mod yourself, or we sell them pre-drilled, like I said, on our website for a very reasonable price. So that covers the two front focus adapters that we sell here at Op4Night Solutions. Hope you found this informative. Both of these are live on our website. You can pick them up at any time. These ones are also going to be released shortly in FDE. Um, and I believe there's also Ranger Green coming down the pipe. So look forward to that. Thanks. Have a good one.